Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Rolling, Rolling, Rolling. From our Washington, D.C. studios, Roland Martin, good morning. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. Last night watching the game, I just went ahead and turned to something else. I said, I can catch the news. Uh, <laughs> rough foot, rough foot. <laughs> Hey, Tom, lots of basketball, of course. Uh, you have the NBA playoffs, the finals taking place right now. Uh, but also what has kicked into gear in the last couple of weeks has been the WNBA. And when you think of all these sports, baseball, hockey, football, uh, you know, you've got uh, folks uh, leading those who are commissioners or president. But the WNBA has the only African-American president. She's Laurel Ritchie. She joins us this morning. President Ritchie, good morning. Good morning. Well, first of all, great to talk with you. Uh, look, everybody focuses on the NBA, but what is the status of the WNBA? I was a Houston Comets fan. The franchise no longer in existence. They won the first four championships, but uh, the WNBA is still moving along. Absolutely. Uh, we are in our 17th season, uh, so compared to some of the other leagues, we're relatively new, but we are the longest um, continuously running women's professional league in the country, and we're uh, really proud of that. How are the crowds? Crowds are doing very well. Um, you know, this season brings um, what some have called the three to see. So Brittany Griner entered the league and joined the Phoenix Mercury. Uh, Skylar Diggins, the Tulsa Shock, and Elena Deladon uh, went to the Chicago Sky. And the, these yeah, three Sky. players Go Chicago are... Sky. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> these three players are amazing. They are amazing, game-changing, uh, and, and the fans have responded uh, in coming out to see these three play. What President about your TV Rich ratings? TV ratings are also um, doing terrific. We tipped off our season this year with a double header, um, and we saw ratings that were at the highest level since, two, uh, I think, in, that we've seen in the last nine years. So all of our metrics are heading in the right direction. President Richie, I went to uh, a, mixed, a Mystics game as a guest of Sheila Johnson, who's uh, the owner of the team. And one of the things that she said is that the WNBA really focuses, focuses on the fan experience uh, and really emphasizes to its players and the, and the teams that they really have to be uh, tied to the community. Absolutely. You know, I think one of the things that differentiates us from other leagues is the accessibility of our players. You know, they know that the league is young and that we're still growing and that our fans are critical to that growth. So spending time with the fans, greeting them when they come in arena, uh, signing autographs, getting out into the community um, and making the communities in which we compete stronger communities um, is, is part of part of the essence or DNA of the WNBA. Roland, it reminds me of the old ABA and when they were coming into the league and how they used to treat the fans. I was watching that Dr. J, uh, mm -hmm. in, I was watching that Dr. J documentary and they showed, you know, the old ABA days. And it reminds me of what you're going through, uh, President Ritchie, with the uh, WNBA. I think so. You know, there, there's nothing like being um, the new kid on the block, um, and it, we have the opportunity to learn from what others have done well um, or maybe where others have, have taken a different path. So we're, we're really committed. Um, all of us know that without fans, um, we don't exist. So we want to make it as fun and engaging to come to a game so that once you come, you want to come back. I have been to a Chicago Sky game or two, and, and some of the best times are watching fathers and their daughters or, you know, just parents yep. taking their kids to see the games. It really is a lot of fun, and it, it makes for a great connection, too. Sybil, would you like to be a mascot? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see you dress up as a... As a, as a Chicago skyline, I don't know. <laughs> or whatever. What I'd, love to, I'd love to see that, Sid. Hey, President Richard, can you get Sid uh, um, a mascot job? You know, you've got my information. Contact me. Uh, that would, be, that would be a no. We'll Thank you, ma'am. I got you, Sid. <laughs> right. That's right. We're going to have Tom join a morning show day at in the WNBA. <laughs> J, J. Anthony going to be a mascot, too. Okay. <laughs> Keep up the well, great we work, man. we welcome you to come out and join us. We We'd be happy to have you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> President Richard, thanks a lot. Thank you very much.